You might say there are some new house guests at the Biltmore Estate, and they are dressed to impress. It really brings this period of time to life, to have the costumes in the house, to get a sense of what people would have been wearing when they're visiting Biltmore. Um, it's just, it puts everything together. One of the busiest times at Biltmore was Cornelia's 1924 wedding. And this is the time period that Downton is now in, uh, in the middle of. And one of the times that we had the most guests come was for her wedding. So to have them all here, have it be around 1924, it's pretty exciting. From lavish gowns to servants' attire and exquisite everyday tweeds and fine fabrics, the exhibit Dressing Downton, Changing Fashion for Changing Times, features the elaborate costumes worn by the characters of Downton Abbey. One of the most fun parts of this project was selecting where all of these guests would be going. Um, we were really able to imagine, imagine the characters, where we would have them staying in the house, what would be appropriate, um, what would look good in the rooms. The costumes are wonderful, and I think uh, the costume designers that uh, work, work with Downton Abbey have done a great job to uh, make them historically accurate. But then <clears throat> um, we have um, a lady here, curator Nancy Lawson, who has been dressing the mannequins, putting the costumes on mannequins, and she has done an incredible job of bringing the costumes to life uh, to the instance where you can actually imagine the actors in in the costumes, such as Violet, uh, the Dowager Countess, with her cane, and it, it's almost like she's there. One look at the frocks, and you feel the characters of Downton coming to life throughout the Biltmore House, whether it's the village flower show, or maybe the Dowager's judging stance, an ever-timely comedic comment. It's great that we have the accessories, such as the cane, which you can, you can almost imagine Maggie Smith, you know, scornfully looking at some family member. This is a typical ladies daytime outfit and she, it's, she's in half mourning at this point. Of course we know um, that the um, family member had died on the sinking of Titanic if I remember correctly and at first uh, there were lots of social rules about mourning and the clothing that you had to wear for mourning. Uh, mourning was a, an extensive, a long period of time and at first you had to wear full black, uh, solid black, but then as, after a certain a, a amount of time passes, then you're allowed to wear colors such as purple and lilac, gray, colors like that, and that's what we're seeing here, and that's considered half mourning. And of course we have uh, Lord Grantham in his linen day suit, which I think both of those can be seen in several scenes. Was that the suit that he announced that um, England was at war with Germany? Yes. The award-winning costumes are inspired by the changing philosophies and attitudes of the times. I think one of the most fascinating things that we're seeing in the costumes is this change, the social change. So you see the hymns raised, you see the difference between Violet's costumes, which are a little more traditional, have a little bit more of the form um, from that time period, from the 1890s, just sort of a throwback in a way, and then you see these really modern silhouettes that the Grantham girls are wearing. It's just a real range and it's exciting to see. As they prepare the exhibit, the Biltmore Museum Services team marvels at the attention to detail in each costume. We knew the costumes that were coming, but to see them in person and to see the details and the embroidery, the, the beadwork, and of course they're a combination of vintage pieces, vintage costumes or, or costumes with new fabrics with, but with vintage pieces. And to see them in person is just, it's completely different. And Lady Sybil's maternity gown glows with a beautiful style that features antique beading but new material. There's beaded embellishment, there's this really detailed ribbon work, things that you wouldn't even expect, things that we didn't even really get to glimpse on screen. Um, a lot of detail at the necklines, hemlines. So this dress is a Cora dress, but a very it different is. one for her. It really is. So this is a dress that she wore. She actually wore it several times during the series, but when they went to Scotland, when they went to Donegal, she wore it at, um, at dinner. Um, it's interesting to see when they are re-wearing dresses, especially during that wartime period. Um, often dresses you would have just worn a few single times, and during the wartime I think they may do. 
for the crawlies. For the crawlies, yes. Beautiful beadwork on this as well. Talk about that a little bit. Absolutely exquisite detail, just really fine beadwork. It really comes to life. It glitters in the light. Um, as you walk around it, it's just full of motion. And maybe you remember the coat worn by Cora's mom, Martha Levinson, played by the actress Shirley MacLaine. In this guest room at Biltmore, the fashion looks right at home. This is one of my favorites. When we first realized we'd be able to have this costume, we knew right away where it should go. She's such a flamboyant character. She's very, very modern. She's very abrupt. Um, she's just larger than life. And this is a fabulous room. And the colors in the coat, it's sort of a black and gold fabric with this great fur. We knew right away that she needed to be staying in the Claude room. And when once she arrived here and she was installed, she just filled the room. She almost inhabits it. So as we go into some of the guest rooms, it's time for Lady Edith's wedding. And we see the gowns worn by Cora and the Dowagers. Talk, talk a little bit about these fantastic gowns. Oh, they're so fun to see. So Cora's is a really interesting choice for this wedding. It's a little more subdued than you might expect for a mother of the bride. It's It has some resemblance to a lot of Stylistically, it has resemblance to a lot of things you see happening in the arts and crafts movement. This wonderful embroidery, um, these bands of embroidery, borders. I love the coral necklaces, the long necklaces that you see on the show, which were so much a part of the late teens and early 20s. And throughout the exhibit, the Downton Abbey costumes speak to visitors as they can better imagine the real lives of the Vanderbilts and how their family and staff lived, worked, and played at the Biltmore. It gives us an opportunity to really explore deeper how, you know, how life was like at Biltmore. 